So let's isolate the card. I, I highlighted the beginning of the card. Actually, we want the column. So all the cards are in a single row. We're going to We're going to drop it into a for loop. So to use Python-like syntax in Django, it's left curly bracket and there's a percent sign. So we're going to try to get The variable that we're passing it, which is images. So this is the start of the for loop. And the end of the for loop, which is you do percent or curly bracket and then there's two percentage. And then you just use this keyword end for. So it's slightly different than normal Python. And let's see if it works. Okay, so there's two images in the database. Looks like it's working. Only loaded up two images. If I load up another image, we should see that there's three cards. Now we have three cards or three images. It looks like it's getting the database and it's registering for e each one. So let's see if we can get the actual image. So this looks like the image here. Get rid of that. We don't need that. Oh, let's just get rid of that. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. Uh, it's going to start from the beginning. So I just deleted the image. Okay, the images are loading. 
We need to set the aspect ratio, which I'll do right now. Okay, so the images are, are working right now. They're in a rectangular format. Let's just review the syntax. So the two key pieces is this for loop here, uh, which is it's for one card. So we're enclosing one card in a for loop. The one that was a little tricky is this image because the template was using our SVG. So we just started from the beginning. It's the basic formula is image source and then there's a URL here. Uh, in this case the URL is coming from this variable name. The variable name is called theta underscore image. And then there was this image that's from the model. We called the image image in the model. And then dot URL is a keyword in Django for the uh, image data type. You can look at the documentation. We're just setting the width, and so the height's going to be auto. So we have a fairly good way to um, put multiple images up here. If we add another image for another row, So now there's four objects, and if I reload it, oh, there's now four objects. So you can see that, although the images are a little big, we didn't uh, make it into thumbnails. So these are the full size images. It's just been scrunched down. You can have a fairly scalable way to create a, a 360 image gallery very quickly. We'll make these clickable and then we'll make it navigable in future videos.